so I'm on a two days training and I'm about to get into the session of the day and I thought of sharing on some habits that drain you on daily basis, habits that make you feel you don't have the energy for the day. I know I have shared previously habits that make you productive, but today, because of the interaction I've had over a couple of days on issues of staff coaching, staff mentoring, and staff counseling, I thought of, and even the last two weeks, what are some of those habits that drain your energy on a daily basis? Remember, habits are the foundation of who we are. Habits are who make us who we are in our career, in our profession, in our lives, our social lives. We are the product of our daily habits. We are the sum total of what we do on a daily basis. And this improves our performance, improves our, our excellence, and improves our commitment on a daily basis. So number one, habit that takes away um, or drains the energy is taking things personally. People are not discussing about you. People are not, uh, don't think that people are really worried about you. They are not discussing. When you get into a room and people keep quiet, they are not discussing you. So don't take things personally. This life is about getting the next goal, getting the next activity, getting the next project. It is not about you. So don't take things personally. Second habit that drains people on a daily basis is holding past grudges. They, they wronged you in the past. They connived against you. They schemed against you. Forget about it. Uh, when the, the past only affects you, it's no longer affecting them. They have moved on. It's like you are swallowing poison and expecting them to die. They won't. They will continue on. So move on. Forget about the past. Don't hold on to it so much because at the end of the day, life has moved on. The third habit that drains you on a daily basis is checking on your emails and social media, especially when you wake up in the morning. Unless there's an email you are expecting or you are expected to return, don't check on your mail every other five minutes. Don't check on your social every other five minutes. If you can give it an hour. I think I was listening to a gentleman called uh, Jeff Bezos. He was saying he normally checks his emails, I think from 10 a.m. And the guy is in tech. He's an Amazon.com uh, CEO and owner. So don't check your mails. Mails drain you, mostly. Unless it's an email you want to return of a senior executive who has uh, called you or has sent you an email, don't check on them on every day. The third or fourth, uh, the, the third habit that drains, it should be fourth, that drains your power is constant uh, worrying, your energy, constant worrying. You're always worried. The world is going to, coming apart. Remember last week you worried about a project or an assignment. That project you did it and you have overcome it. Remember last year you worried about your child that they are going the wrong way. Right now they have they have streamlined. So constant, if there's something you can do about that worry, do it. If there's nothing you can do about it, stop worrying because the world is not adding. Uh, I remember a book I read called uh, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. It speaks about the circle of concern and circle of inference. Circle of concern are those things you can do nothing about. So just keep them aside. If you can do something about it, call somebody, you know, send an email, uh, ask a help. But if you can't do anything, relax. The world is not going anywhere. Another habit that drains your energy on a daily basis is negativity. You, are, you have this tendency of going out with a negative mind, negative attitude. And you end up becoming a problem. You are not being a solution to the organization or even to yourself or even to your, to your close ones. When you are negative, it drains your energy. It drains the energy of everybody around you. So stay positive. I mean, like now in our Kenya, we are talking about, I don't know, fuel is going to go up. Of course it will go up. It has gone up in the past. 
people have uh, managed their lives. So economic conditions will keep changing, but what requires not to change and requires to be positive is your mindset. So retain a positive attitude. We are on many social forums, especially on WhatsApp groups and tele Telegram groups. And some of them, people wake up very early in the morning at 6 or 5, they post some negative ideas there. And that if you imbibe them, they are going to ruin your whole day. So be the positive uh, person in the room. The next, and people will be want to be attracted to you. They want to come to, uh, to work with you. Another habit that drains you is sleeping too much. People think that when you sleep too much, you are conserving energy or you are reserving energy or you are rejuvenating. Anything beyond eight hours is too much. And it ends up making you lethargic. And because you are sleeping so much, then you are not accomplishing other parts of your life. And therefore, you have a backlog and that eats into your esteem. It eats into your drive. It eats into your energy. Eight hours for those who can afford it, well and good. Seven hours, I don't want to recommend, but too much sleep ends up making you lethargic. It doesn't, it doesn't um, give you the energy you think you are going to get. It doesn't conserve any energy for you. It doesn't um, create any new energy. It drains you. Lastly, the habit that drains you is when you are, you always dwell in the past. What happened in the past? Forget what happened in the past. That has happened. Forget about it. Stop complaining about everything in life. Complaining is another habit that can drain you. You are labeled a complainer. If there is anything you can do about that thing, do it now. If there is nothing, forget about it. Stop being a complainer because you drain the energy of people around you. You drain your energy for working and you live the whole day becomes a mess. Bonus point. Last habit that drains your energy is not following through. When you promise you are going to do something, keep it. Your word is your honor. So if you do not keep it, then that not following through creates a backlog for even other people and makes you not reliable and therefore people avoid you. So follow through. Keep your promise. I wish you a great day. God bless.